Today we're talking about thumb tips. Hard thumb tips, soft thumb tips, what's the difference, what should you pick up, and I'm also going to be showing you a trick that you can do with your thumb tip, and it's not the disappearing handkerchief trick. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Alan with The Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. This channel is dedicated to helping you give you tips, tricks, and techniques to elevate your magic to that next level. If that sounds like something that's neat to you, hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon. That way you don't miss a single video. Today we are talking about thumb tips. There are two major varieties. I'll tell you right now, if you, wanna, if you want guaranteed quality, I can't speak for any of the other brands out there, but if you really want what's kind of like the standard, is it the Rolls Royce? No. Is it the cheap dollar store budget bin? No. These are somewhere in between there. They're just a good, solid workhorse of a thumb tip, and uh, I've never been disappointed with the quality, and it's the ones that I use all the time because they're affordable, readily available, and do the job excellently. And that's Vernet thumb tips, and I'll have the spelling. It's in French, so uh, Vernet thumb tips. And they are solid. They offer two different varieties, at least it's ver versus hard and soft. Uh, this is the soft one. This is the hard one. They look extremely similar. Now, I have to tell you, if you watched my earlier video, about a year ago, I did one on thumb tips, and it was pretty popular. It's actually uh, skyrocketed as one of the most popular videos on my channel right now. But the problem was, I kind of just dumped on th soft thumb tips. I completely changed my mind about that. Uh, I gave a live stream magic lecture the other day from a magic shop, and one of the things I picked up while I was there was a hard thumb tip and a soft th thumb tip, especially for this video. Now, a hard thumb tip is exactly what you'd expect a hard thumb tip to be like. It's a hard plastic, it's a little bit flexible, but not much. You don't want to crease it too much. I'll show you what happens if you do. This is an old one of mine, but see, I've got that, that breakage there, and I've been meaning to replace that for a long time. Hard thumb tips are generally my favorite, but I'm starting to change my mind on that because I've got this soft one here too. And it's made out of, it's still made out of a plastic, but it's just a much more flexible plastic. See, that's the hard thumb tip. There's the soft thumb tip. This is not vinyl. Um, a lot of the soft thumb tips I've had before were vinyl thumb tips, and I have not liked those at all. But this Vernet soft thumb tip is excellent. So which one should you get? Well, it depends on really what you want to do. I don't see any serious disadvantages. If you go with a Vernet thumb tip, I don't see any serious disadvantages to using a soft thumb tip. In fact, I see some advantages, and I've changed my mind about this. The soft thumb tip seems like it would be a stand up to a lot more abuse because uh, it flexes more, whereas the hard thumb tip uh, you saw I had that crack in the other one. It's just a little bit more rigid, and it tends to want to break along those seams where it's cast. Thumb, hard thumb tips still have some advantages if you're trying to do, like, putting out something that's burning inside of your fist or something like that. A hard thumb tip's going to be better, even though I still probably wouldn't use plastic ones for that. I can't see a lot of advantages of a hard thumb tip over a soft thumb tip from Vernet, though. Some of the extra advantages you get from using a soft thumb tip is being able to do stuff with odd-shaped objects. Like coins, for instance, if you're using a thumb tip for coins, there's a Michael and Marr effect that he put out in one of his Easy to Master Coin Miracle series where you need a soft thumb tip to be able to get the coins in and out of the thumb tip. A hard thumb tip will not easily release or accept coins into it where a soft thumb tip, you have a much easier time. But I think I'm, I think I'm becoming a convert. I think the soft thumb tips are where it's at. So what does the $100 bill switch look like? What does it actually look like? You may have heard about it, but let's go ahead and show you it right now, okay? So this can actually even be borrowed. You don't have to use your own $1 bill, which is super awesome. And look, I want you to pay attention because the bill never leaves your sight during the entire routine here. I hope it gets back on, yeah, there you go. My autofocus is trying to be helpful and it's not. But there it is, now you have a $20 bill. Pretty awesome, you can hand that out and be inspected, whatever you want. Pretty cool. So as it sounds like, this is a switch. This is a, one, a switch of one bill for another in the process of folding, but it's done so cleanly, so beautifully, that uh, you really never have to have the bill leave the audience's sight during the entire part of it, which is awesome. I should also mention that there are about a billion ways to do the $100 bill switch. I can't for sure tell you which version I'm showing you right now, which one I learned this from, because there are literally dozens and dozens and dozens of different variations and subtleties and techniques that uh, multiple magicians have come out with over the years. As far as we know, uh, the $100 bill switch was invented by a Russian, and some American magician saw him at a circus performing this, and learned it from him, and then brought it back to the United States, and then it kind of spread. So as far as I know, this hasn't actually, doesn't have an official first publishing date from the creator. Uh, there's a whole interesting book on this topic, which if you want to learn more about, I'll link that down in the description below too. 
So how do you do the $100 bill switch? Well, you're gonna need uh, two things, maybe three, depending on if you're borrowing the bill or not. But first you have a high denomination bill. In this case, I have a 20. That's about all the largest bill that I have here at the house. But watch how I'm gonna fold this. It's important that you see how this is folded. You're gonna fold it in half. It's gonna go into 16th uh, at the end here, but you go, go hamburger, hot dog, hamburger, hot dog, like that, okay? And I always fold it with the face inwards. And then you're gonna leave it with the V. Let's see if I get the camera to focus on that. You're gonna leave it with the V facing up and the folded edge uh, towards the tip of the thumb. So all the loose pieces of paper are going to be towards, uh, towards your palm, all the folded edges inside. Remember, facing up in that thumb. Man, there we go. Okay, so there's, there's the setup there. Now, you have your other bill. Again, this one can be borrowed. If you do borrow it, you're gonna have to put those creases in there yourself, which is actually not that hard. You can cover this in pattern. The way that I do it is I tell people, hey, you guys wanna see the first trick I ever learned? And you go, oh yeah, sure, okay, sure. You know, they've done a couple other things for him. And they go, look, my grandpa used to do this trick where he would fold up the bill, and then when he would unfold it, George Washington would be upside down. And that's just a little joke, you know, that's a topsy-turvy bill. But if you want to see a tutorial on that, let me know. That's what, that's what I do is I, I put those creases in there whenever I'm telling the story about how my grandpa showed me this trick. And then people are like, oh, wah, wah. okay, all right, sure. But, uh, you know, I've gotten older. I've been practicing magic for a long time. And see, now you're just folding up the bill. If you're folding it, there's, there's half, okay? There's a hamburger, there's that. Everything's normal still. The thumb tip's on my left thumb. And I'll do this from behind the shoulder here in a second. But then you fold the front over and then your thumb tips gets pulled off, depositing the other bill. Your index fingers fold down the front flap of the $1 bill, and then your index finger gets inside of the 20, folds it open, and that $1 bill is just hiding out there behind the 20. And then your fingers of your left hand go into that fold and go to push it open. Your right hand fingers opens that flap as your left thumb pushes in that $1 back into the thumb tip, back onto your thumb, and then you proceed with the unfolding of the $20 bill. There's a little bit of ballet between your fingers. They're doing multiple things at the same time, but go through it a couple of times and you will find out that it's not as hard as you think it is. Um, it's just about coordinating your, the actions of both hands. Everything should kind of work together to do those motions. Now the $100 bill switch can actually be used for a lot of different other types of magical effects. Say instead of changing a $1 bill into a five, a 10, a 20, whatever, you had two $1 bills that you turned into a $2 bill. Sure, it gets a little crammed inside the thumb tip, but it is a super cool trick and it's something that you can give away without losing any money. You might also consider two identical bills. You have two $1 bills, for instance, and maybe you punch holes in the corners and then when you by folding it up, now all of the holes have moved and now they're in a different spot on the bill. This really has a large amount of applications and it's really just limited by your imagination. Moving ink, moving holes, changing denominations from American to uh, maybe a foreign currency, all kinds of stuff. So don't be limited just by changing a one into a 20 or something. Really think about all the different applications. In fact, if you wanna see some other applications that I talk about with thumb tips, you can watch the thumb tip video and also the uh, bank night video that I've done earlier on this channel. I'll leave links in the description. So there it is, the $100 bill switch. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's been useful and helpful to you. I hope uh, maybe you have a better idea of what kind of thumb tip you might wanna get for yourself. And if you wanna pick up one of those thumb tips, you can help out the channel by buying it from my affiliate link down below. Helps me out a whole lot. So thank you guys very much. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.